this is another video from Cape Town and we ask you, the German community, what to talk about in Cape Town. And you were asking about the OER adoption permit and we have here Glenda and Henry who kind of invented this permit. And you were asking what is it, where can we read more about it and can it be applied internationally and we thought we would ask the creators themselves. So thank you for taking your time and doing this video with us. Thanks very much. So the context for this particular permit is a project that we conducted in South Africa uh, at three institutions. It's part of a big umbrella project called Research for OER for Development, RAW for D, uh, that's across the Global South that was funded by the IDRC. And uh, our intent uh, on starting out this project was to look at lecturers' motivations Uh, to try and understand why lecturers were sharing um, open education resources or using open education resources and trying to get to the heart of that matter. And we went to three different institutions in South Africa, uh, our own, the University of Cape Town, the New University of Fort Hare, and uh, the University of South Africa, a very large distance institution, to interview lecturers about why they were adopting or not adopting OER. And initially our driver was to look at the idea of motivation. And as we began looking at our results, at our data that was coming from the interviews, we realized that there actually were a number of factors lying beneath that motivation that were very important at these other institutions. And then my colleague Henry uh, came up with this um, graphic of a way of visualizing the different factors uh, that were involved, uh, the factors that came out of the interviews were driven by the results that we had. Yeah, over to Henry. Thank you, yes. So when we asked why are you sharing or not sharing OER, sometimes they would say, well, motivation is not an issue because we don't have permission to share OER. So before you can even get to the question of motivation, we needed to understand other factors that are often less in their control than something like motivation. So we looked at what are the six essential factors for OER use or creation. And there seems to be the six that we could find starts with the most basic access. You need infrastructure access to electricity, computers, and, so and connectivity. That seems very uh, commonsensical, and in many cases this is a non-issue. But in the Global South, we found that this is an issue. You also need permission. Now the permission to use OER comes from the creator of the OER itself through a CC by license, CCND, um, by ND, etc. But to create OER, that typically comes from the permission granted by your institution, allowing you to share teaching materials openly. In South Africa, that is not typically the case. The employer, the institution, holds copyright over your teaching materials. You also need awareness, a conceptual awareness of what dis distinguishes OER from other types of teaching materials. And that is not always present at many institutions, at a high level at least. You also need technical capacity to deal with OER. It's not just digital literacy. There are specific licensing components and computer technology components that are specific to OER. And we wanted to know if, if you don't have that capacity, does someone on your campus have that capacity to assist you? Also, availability. There are plenty of OER out there, but is it relevant and of the requisite quality for your particular anticipated purposes? It's not good enough that there just be lots of OER out there. It must be relevant to you. And that is not always the case for educators in certain uh, circumstances. Once those factors are met, then we can talk about motivation. And our, our university, UCT, these factors are met. And that's why we started with the question of motivation, because um, we thought maybe other South African institutions would be at a similar level. And we were surpri pleasant, oh, surprised, pleasantly and unpleasantly at times, uh, to find that there are other impinging factors, which we were unaware of in our own institution. But by looking at these six factors, which we do believe 
are universally valid or in the sense that you could use this OER adoption pyramid to assess the readiness at different institutions um, that you can look at the, the various factors at each institution, judge their readiness, and when you get to the point of motivation, then you can look at the personal values that they hold, that educators hold, the institutional values, do they provide support mechanisms, um, a supportive policy environment, but also social norms and expectations from one's discipline or department. So we find those all impacting motivation. We have a number of uh, publications and presentations available openly online, and we will definitely share those uh, links with you on this um, presentation.